Hi, this is Anu and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today, I wanted to share with you my favorite gifts that I like to do for the crafters that are in my life. I thought it would be nice to give you ideas with the holidays coming and etc. etc. of gifts to make to the people in your life that you love and that are crafters. There are so many little things that you can give them, put under the tree, put next to the menorah, a what I like to do actually, and I will show you what I did. So I uh, got a present, uh, an advent calendar, you know, those calendars that have little boxes and in December you open a box every day or every other day. In this case, it is a beauty advent calendar that I received. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, if you guys know <laughs> your beauty stuff, but it's a beautiful, beautiful box. So I took all the makeup out and I am going to replace it in those little boxes, in those little windows. Windows. I'm going to put 12 little presents and I'm going to gift it to the craft lover in my life and now I will suggest a few things that you could put in it and other things that are too big to put in it too but that I would like to receive and just gift ideas yes you're interested let's begin So the first thing, and that doesn't fit into the calendar, <laughs> into the advent calendar, but the first thing that I want to talk about is that Knitter's Pride little tool. And I don't know how you call this. It's a yarn dispenser, I guess, and it's beautiful. It's made out of wood. I will insert a little film, a little movie here of how you're supposed to use it, but it's the really coolest thing for people that crochet or knit. You know how your yarn, your balls, your skins, I'm not good sixth grader every time i say balls i giggle anyway your skins of yarn you know how you, you crochet and then they always run away and they slide and they get entangled you put your yarn on it and it just dispenses as you crochet it and it doesn't roll down or it doesn't like uh, try to escape you at any cost and i love this i think that every crafter would like it and not necessarily buy it to themselves because it's not cheap but it's really really a good idea of gift i love it now that i have it i use it all, all all the time i will put of course all the information about where i got it the prices and everything for you in the info box down below and yeah, so that's number one on my gift craft ideas. Number two is something that also doesn't fit my advent calendar. It is a gauge counter and it's this little thing. I crochet very loosely and some of you might crochet really tightly. So whenever I do, I give you my patterns, even though I do size a small, medium, large, extra large, two extra large, the way you crochet is different than mine. So it's always very important to figure out what is the gauge in the crochet. And for that, this is really cool because it has inches and centimeters and you place it on your work. You count how many rows you have per inches or per centimeters and then you extrapolate and you it helps you figure out if you crochet the same way as I do, if you crochet tighter, looser and how to adapt my patterns to your way of crochet. So that's really, really nice tool. And uh, and it's super nifty. I love it. Every crafter would like that. Let's find something that fits into our advent calendar. What do we have in here? Oh yeah. So I'm not going to unwrap it because I am going to, as I said, give this as a little gift, but it's a row counter and it's also from the brand Knitter's Pride. It's called Clicky and it's super cute. It has a little cord, you can put it all around your neck and every time you count, you know how you count rows and then you forget what rows you wear, the, the, the phone rings, somebody calls you, you have to do something and all of a sudden you come back to your crochet and you're like, oh my God, what row was I? And if you have this thing, every time you finish a row, you click and then the number switch to one row, two rows, three rows, and then you can be reminded where you are in your work. And I think that's really, really cute. ID number four, let's see what I had in there. If you have been following me for a while, you know that my love for scissors is real. Antique scissors, modern scissors, scissors that look like animals. I collect them. I actually have about 20 or 25 pairs of scissors hanging in my studio. And this one is really cool. I will 
insert a little picture of it. It's, it's super simple, it's very, very dainty, and it's small enough that you can travel with it. And I think every crafter needs a really nice, sharp, cute, small pair of scissors. And this is what it is. And number five, what do I have here? Oh yeah, so what I like to put in my advent calendar is a hand cream because my hands are always so, so, so dry. And because I touch yarn all the time and I also work with my hands a lot, film my hands too, and sometimes they look like the, the Mojave Desert, seriously. This is really nice. It's from the brand Kids Sun, which is a British brand. I get it from another advent calendar. But any, you know, your favorite hand cream is such a nice gesture. Everybody needs hand cream. Now, this little beauty I found on Etsy, and it was handcrafted in Ukraine by Stanislav and Julie Rudenko. I will put their link on Etsy in the info box down below. It is beautiful. It is made out of hornbeam and robinia wood. It is so beautiful and so light and so comfortable that this, I know, will be a heirloom piece for me. I love beautiful crochet hooks and this one is just breathtaking. I highly, highly recommend it and that would make for such a beautiful gift. Love it. Absolutely love it. And not only is this crochet just absolutely stunning, but it comes also in this beautiful cover that I am smitten by. So yeah, A plus, A plus plus. Oh yeah, so that I had last year too, I think. And there those, you know, when you make something handmade for somebody, a sweater or something, it's really nice to have a little tags that you can sew on, on iron on that says made with love, handcrafted for you. And those are it. That is a very nice touch. I always like to receive them. There are some places that you can customize also. I could like ask them to put a no crochet design on it or whatever. The next one is so adorable. It looks like a macaroon and it is everything that you need for a crafter. It looks like a little macaron. It is so adorable. And then you open it and inside you have the most adorable measuring tape. So, so, so cute. It looks like a little cupcake. It is adorable. And then inside you have tiniest little yarn cutter, which is super nice, especially when you travel in a plane, because if you have scissors, sometimes they take it from you. There are, I don't know how many, 10 of the most adorable stitch markers. Those are for uh, knitters though. Those are the ones that you put on your knitting needle, not on your crochet needle, but they're all food and ice cream and popsicle. Oh my God, it is adorable. and. I think this is the most adorable idea. You could add some of stitch markers for crochet. If you're the person in your life is a crochet, you can add all kind of little things. You could add some uh, tapestry needles inside to make it even more complete. I love the idea. I think it's just so, so cute. I never have enough crochets and I always like to discover new crochets. And I discovered this company is called Adi, A-D-D-I, and they're ergonomically shaped crochet hooks. And I think they're fantastic. They're a little bit expensive, but let me show you the shape of them. So there are two, four, six, seven crochet hooks from two millimeters to eight millimeters. And you see the shape of it, how it's like it curves like that. So it's supposedly really nice on your wrist and it gives you for a good grip, depending on how you hold your crochet hook. Um, it might take a little bit of time to get used to it, but I enjoyed it tremendously. And, and changing position of your hand when you crochet and changing crochet hook is really good for your wrist too. And by the way, don't forget to stretch once in a while when you crochet to take a little bit of pressure out of your joints. I would have loved to get this as a gift. Now, you know on Amazon, you can always find things uh, from, that are cheaper from other companies. And I found these ones, comes with that little cute faux leather uh, little thing and two, four, six, there are eight uh, crochets. 
And on top of that, you also get, I don't know how many, a bunch of tapestry needles in a little container. They have polka dots. They're really, really cute. So they don't have it the exact same shape and they're adorable. And I really, really like them. They're really nice and light, but ergonomic too. They don't have that curve that Adi has. So if you're not a fan of that curve, that would be a good one for you too, or to gift, of course, to somebody. I think it's really adorable. I love the bright colors. And actually, I like the feel of them. Of course, my favorite are still the Clover's crochet hook. I always go back to them. But as I said, I like to switch. And then I found these ones also on Amazon, which came in this beautiful uh, sequence, you call sequence, you know, the one that you change color. So if you do like that, it's white. If you do like that, it's blue. This is adorable to hold your crochet hook, but I would also use it to hold my makeup when I travel. And then you open it and you have so many. I think there's 13 crochet hooks in it. And they're really, really nice too. There is a yarn cutter too. There are tapestry needles and there is a tape measure. And then there, is, there are some uh, really adorable, one of my favorite simple plastic stitch markers in it. Those are really, really nice presents to make to somebody that likes to crochet. And now to store all your beautiful new crochets, you need a container. And look what I found on Etsy. This beautiful rose gold crochet box that you open just like so. And then you can just stand it wherever you are and have your crochet hooks at hand. But the cutest thing about this little nifty thing is that you can customize it to your liking. So I asked to write a new crochet design on it. It is kind of a bamboo little bottom. I love it so much. Who wouldn't love this and be touched by the attention? Really, absolutely love this idea. Of course, I will put the link and everything you need to know to find it in the information box down below. From the brand Luxia that I found on Amazon too. It is a really nice travel bag. And what I like about it is that it is not as huge as um, the other one that I showed you last year, I think. So you can just actually put it in your carry-on bag and it has a lot of pockets inside. It has those little holes. So if you put your yarn and you can put the yarn through it and they don't get mixed up. And what I really, really like too is that when you open it, like so, the front pocket, oops, you have room to put your crochet and then you have a little zipper to put uh, the little things like um, stitch markers, tapestry needles, uh, and your little yarn cutter and stuff like that. So I like it because it's not too big and it's super light, it's made out of fabric and it has also pockets outside. Anyway, so as I said, super nice. I get it on Amazon too. I put the link down below. By the way, this video is not sponsored at all. I bought everything with my own money. I just want to give you idea. Even though I will put the link down below, I'm not affiliated, I'm not getting anything. It's just sending you easily to uh, see the products and see if you might like them. And then last but not least is my favorite yarn. I have been working with it and making so many things. I made my flowing leaves dress and I made, uh, I just posted uh, hats and gloves with it and I can see myself making so many other things with it. It's the Lion brand jeans yarn. I think this color is top stitch, but I have so many more other colors. It's 100% acrylic, so you can wash it and dry it. Uh, I would just wash it and lay flat. But it's so soft and so versatile and yeah i'm in love with it my favorite yarn i think of the year just because it fills every little check you know it is soft it is acrylic so it's versatile colors are beautiful it is not too expensive and it's like a midway to it's not too thin but it's not too thick so yeah plus plus
love it and that is it for uh, my 2019 gift crafters guide I hope you have enjoyed it I hope it gave you a few ideas of gifts to make to the people you love in your life or things to get for yourself because you deserve it if you're not subscribed to my channel don't hesitate to do so it's totally free click on the subscribe button and then don't hesitate to click on the little bell to be notified every time I post something new if you like this kind of uh, videos just give me a little thumbs up and come and see me on my social media and I will see you next time for a tutorial this time in the meantime happy crochet and bye let's do this do this my glasses are here somewhere in my pocket actually hey I have a pocket if you have been following me for a while oops wow that light that's Oh, the uh, little thing. There we go. Um, and then I also need it. I, I think that it is also. Uh, I don't know how many how many crochet you have. The cat, see, so we this two. And then, oh, no. Oops. So I made my uh, leaf, flowing leaf, flower. No. Click on the subscribe. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Thank you.